What's going on guys? This is Vito from Serviceide. I am going to do a quick little review on the Treehopper Ring of Steps. So this right here is currently the 5-pack. This is how I am packing them in and packing them out. I am using a regular cam strap with a quick link and some marine bungee cord just to kind of keep everything cinched down. As you can tell, no real noise as far as that goes for bringing them in and out of the woods. I have a little D loop that I keep on the back of my saddle and it clips right here into the quick link and allows me to walk in quietly. So my over overview of these first impressions, uh, they kind of were what I expected. You know, they aren't anything crazy as far as the way that they're designed or machined or anything like that. They're extruded plastic, so my expectations were what they were. Uh, one thing that I do like about these is these are the newer ones, so they do nestle into each other. They actually like will slide into each other, so makes packability really nice. I do like the actual angle of the step. One downfall to me is they're very short and they're not very wide, so I found myself turning and twisting my foot to kind of find where they were and how much room I had off the side when I was trying to pivot and everything. It probably takes a little bit to get used to. I typically hunt out of a predator platform or I've used a wild edge as ring of steps. That's just a little bit different, more surface area. These do have a lot less surface area. What I expected, but it definitely takes a little bit to get used to. They do have the addition of the little teeth on the back of them. Um, I did notice that there is a little bit of play, especially side pressure. You can definitely feel them tilt on you. Initially, when you first step down on them, there is a little bit of give, but once they get seated, they're seated. Ideally, it's probably better to use like a cam over center buckle. The cinching of a regular cam strap doesn't get them super, super tight. So ideally, there's a better buckle that could be used to make them stiffer to the tree. This is just what I set it up to use. Um, I did team it up with my Predator. So it wasn't a huge, huge deal. I did try to sit and uh, stand on them as much as I possibly could so I can get used to them. I was able to move, you know, 360 degrees around the tree. I had my predator at six o'clock and then I had the steps, you know, scattered around and worked out really well. I had good movement and everything. It just took a little bit to get used to and to find the step. One downfall to them is they're noisy. When that plastic hits against each other, it kind of reminds me of like a cheap rattle bag. So. One thing I figured out about doing is probably wrapping some stealth strip on the sides of them to kind of dampen that noise when they do make contact. Uh, setup on them was really easy. I don't really have any concerns with that. Weight of them, I mean obviously this screw gate is probably heavier than two or three of these steps. Uh, I think the steps themselves, five of them weigh a little bit over a pound which is really light compared to if you're carrying a platform or you know three or four wild edge steps the weight of them is great I'm not really too too big on having the lightest gear out there switching from a tree stand going into a saddle you save so much weight as it is between my predator and my kill kit uh, I'm probably right around five pounds six pounds including this uh, very minimalistic is more or less what I try to stay for I did think about running these around my predator just taking these off, putting around the predator strap, the strap that comes with the predator, and you know, predator at six o'clock, one of these at nine, 12, and three. That gives me some good placement, good pivot points for shooting 360 degrees. I'm not 100% sold on the whole ring of steps idea yet. I tend to want to be a little bit more away from the tree, especially for my strong side shots or just clearance more or less from the tree limbs. I do shoot a little bit of a taller bow. I shoot a 31 inch axle axle. So maybe it's just a comfort thing for me. But overall impressions of these, they're not bad for the price. You can't beat them. I'll definitely find some use for them coming up next season. But for right now, just wanted to give a quick little review of them. You guys have a good day and shoot straight.